Well, a new book examines one man's journey from alcoholism to peace and happiness. And the author credits his road to recovery to a well-known relative on his path to sainthood, the founder of the Knights of Columbus. You're a Miracle, my story of alcoholism, miraculous healing, and God's infinite power in love by Joe McGivney details his personal struggle with alcoholism and how, after hitting rock bottom, his life miraculously turned around with the intercession of Blessed Michael McGivney. And the author of that book, Joe McGivney, joins us now along with his wife, Nicole. Thank you both so much for coming on today. We really appreciate it. Joe, I, I want to start off with you. Tell us more about your struggles with alcoholism and, and what finally happened when you hit rock bottom. Yeah, I, my um, starting in early childhood, um, I fell in love with drinking. Um, it, you know, when I was a child, I had a lot of fear and anxiety and always felt like I didn't belong. So that uh, early on, I think at 12 years old, I found that, you know, alcohol could make all those things drift away. And uh, throughout my entire life, including my adult life, um, my drinking and alcoholism just progressed and progressed and progressed. Um, but it all came to a, a very frightening end on December 30th of 2020, you know, in the heat of COVID, um, where my body, after all those years of abusing alcohol, completely collapsed and gave out. And I spent the next nine weeks um, in institution after institution. Um, I had developed a neurological condition called Korsakoff psychosis in my family. My beautiful wife, Nicole, were told that I would be completely psychotic for the rest of my life. And uh, that was exactly, in fact, three years ago tonight, I was in that locked psych ward. Well, Joe, I mean, I, I can't imagine what you were going through during that time. And Nicole, you as well, because as we well know, you know, someone's alcoholism does, doesn't affect that one person. It affects other people as well. And it affected you. Um, what was it like for you to see Joe during this time and see him through his addiction, go through this breakdown and then also be miraculously healed? It was such a very, very dark time very touch and go throughout the whole period. And I just was so, so, so depressed, so sad, just lost. And I felt so broken and honestly abandoned. I just, I, I felt like, my goodness, how could this possibly be? This amazing, beautiful guy with all these great qualities do this to himself, be so self-destructive. In addition, how it impacts the family and the ripple effect and how it had a huge impact on our marriage and the destructiveness of it all. Um, it just it was a very, very sad time. And I lost a lot of weight. Um, I could barely stay afloat. So it was very frightening, very frightening. And we became you know, very close to losing him a couple times. And I just... I was just so devastated. And then with the incredible intercession of Blessed Michael McGivney, everything turned around quickly. Um, Joe, I don't know if you want to take this and tell us what exactly happened. Sure. So I was in this um, treatment facility where I had been transferred to after the lock psych ward said we can't hold them any longer. Long story short, um, the day after I was transferred from the psych ward into this treatment facility, I woke up completely 100% healed, Com no deficits to that time. And then we, what was obviously, a, you know, unquestionable miracle, always left me wondering, well, why? And then a few months later, I learned that one of my relatives, a devout Catholic woman, my aunt Jerry was praying fervently to Blessed Michael McGivney to intercede to God and heal me. And he believed to this day that it was Father Michael's intercession that results, resulted in the miracle that God blessed me with. That is absolutely incredible. <laughs> and what a miracle indeed. We're almost out of time, Joe and Nicole. But quickly, um, Joe, I want to ask you this. 
what do you hope people get from your book? And also, where can they get this inspiring book? Sure. Well, we really want two things. Number one, to raise awareness for the cause of canonization for Blessed Michael. And two, to the individuals and families that struggle with alcoholism and addiction, to give them hope. And um, you can find our book at, on Amazon. At mm -hmm. the, the name of the book is You're a Miracle with an exclamation point. And uh, again, available on Amazon or through our website, which is joemcgivney.com. Well, thank you both so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. It's really important to talk about this. God bless you both for sharing your story. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you, Tracy. So God bless you.